Hello, my name is Jay, and uh, just finished helping my son install a Fusion motorcycle LED system on his brand new Kawasaki Ninja 250. Wanted to add a little flair to it, so we helped him install these lights. And I'm just hoping to make a little video here to show off the system. Now, this does come with a remote control. If I can get to focus in here on the remote. There we go. Okay. So right off we have the power button right here. That just turns the system on and off. Okay. This button here allows you to change the colors that are being displayed on the LED system. This button here changes the pattern of the flashing or you also have modes that are sound sensitive. And this button here is the speed button. It uh, will basically allow you to change the speed of the pattern of flashing or the sound sensitivity on the microphone built into the device to pick up the sounds. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull that away, get the bike back in focus. I'll turn off the lights here and give a brief demonstration. And we're going to turn it on right now. There we go. Now this is a new system to me. I've never installed one of these. And uh, just going to, like I said, give a demonstration here. Now the book says it has 16 colors. I may have miscounted, I thought I had more than that here when I was stepping through it a minute ago. So I'm going to press the color button here. Right here is the first color. comes on as red. Second. Third. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. 13, 14, 15, and 16. Now that's what it says, 16 colors. Let me hit this button again here. See, there's an extra color there. Uh, now there's two more modes on here as far as uh, color flashing, and I'll get to those in just a second. So there's 17, 18, 19, if you consider that color, it is white. Now I think the next one is where it goes into a full color spectrum yeah, you see the full color spectrum there. It uh, cycles through the colors nice and slow. So I'm just going to let it do that. So it just goes through all the variations of colors it has. And then one more mode, it is a seven color cycle. So you're going to see it going through the cycle of the different colors there. It's seven different ones with no transition effects. And we're going to go back to the first color we started out with, red. All right, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to press the, uh, the mode button to change it into a flashing mode. Uh, basic flash here. All the lights are going to go on and off simultaneously. Now, just to demonstrate the speed button, I do believe I have on speed one. We can tell by the beeps if you listen here as I press the button. See, I press that and it beeped twice, so it's, it's in the second speed mode out of five. There's three, four, and five, the fastest. And on any of these modes here, you can actually change the color. So every color is available in every flash mode. Now I'm going to go ahead and press that to get you back down to one speed there. And we're going to go to the next mode, which is called Breathe. Now breathe, what it does, it basically, you know, makes it look like it's breathing. It's going on and off very slowly. Now once again, you can change the speed of this here. And there's the fastest one. It looks more like a heartbeat there doing that. We'll go back to the first mode. Okay. Now the next one is called scanning mode. See, it's going from front to back. Okay, and we're just going to play with the speed here as well. And there's the fastest speed. Once again, you can change colors if you'd like. And it's bringing back down the speed there. Now, the next one is called strobe mode.
basically kind of like a random flashing all the lights next mode is called chase mode I see the pattern in it there and we'll speed it up a little bit here Now the next one after this is called center out mode. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. You can see the center light come on and flash out to the other lights. This unit does have three different zones. So when you're wiring, you do want to make sure that you're wiring it, you know, front lights to the front plug and, and so on. Now the next mode is called running mode. I'm just going to change colors again here just to spice it up. All right. Now the mode after this is one of the music modes. There's four different music modes. Basically it picks up sound. It doesn't have to be music. It can be the sound of your voice, the sound of the motorcycle running as well. For this I'm going to step in a little bit closer so it can pick up the sound of my voice. And I am going to put it into the most sensitive mode. There we go. So now when I talk, it is going to be flashing like that. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it on the bright white light there. That way it's easy to see how it's responding. I'm going to go to the next flashing mode. And see what the pattern is on this one. I do apologize. I pressed the speed button. Kind of hard to see here in the dark. So... Okay, so we're back to the sensitivity. So now we're going to go to the next mode here. Testing, one, two. Testing, okay. Check this mode here. Not quite sure what the pattern is here. It's kind of hard to read the instruction manual in here, but as you do see, it is picking up sound. Another sound sensitive mode. Testing, testing, there we go. And one more. Testing, testing. Hello. Testing. Okay. So now we're back to the all on mode. Now, for this next one, I am going to turn the garage light back on so we can see a little bit here. And what I'm going to do, I am going to go ahead and turn the system off. This also has a wire to use for the brake. And what that means is. Get on here. I'm just going to turn the power onto the bike when I'm actually going to start it. Did you notice the parking lights are on? And I am going to press the brake. And when you do that, it sends a trigger to the unit to tell it to turn on. Now, what's the interesting thing about this, like I said, it's just like turning the unit on. So, let's say, let's turn this off for just a second. And we go into this mode here. Okay, and let's just change color, change color for the heck of it. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this back off. Now, once again, without pressing the button, I'm going to hit the brake. You're going to see it's going to flash in that mode there that we had. So, so kind of a nice safety feature, you know, draws a little attention to the bike when you are stopping, you know. All right, so I'm going to turn the ignition back off. And uh, that's been my brief demonstration of this system. I hope you have enjoyed and hope it was uh, helpful.